Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to a very cool game that I've prepared for you today. It's again great gameplay by the new Stockfish version by the new Stockfish 14 engine and uh, we're covering now the Stockfish 14 engine games with some more pragmatic and more often played openings. So recently it was really really wild what Stockfish did. Stockfish won some games in the King's, uh, King's Gambit, Evans Gambit, Danish Gambit, really in the sharp and irregular openings we have to say it like this because uh, you will not see the top grand masters now uh, playing King's Gambit or Evans Gambit games now we're back to actually to the real stuff uh, because we're analy analyzing now more games played by stockfish 14 in this regular openings like the Rui lopez caro uh maybe uh queen's gambit decline slav defense and similar similar stuff so today's game is a brilliant game played by stockfish against another top engine pedone in the caro defense and i don't, don't think that caro defense players will like this video because here it's again a brutal brutal attack against the caro defense especially against this carpo variation which is of course in the beginning uh good for black it had some of course great positional ideas but then in afterwards stockfish finds really great opportunities to open the position and creates really really madness all over the world so let's check out now the game so here e4 played by stockfish uh, pedona responds with the move c6 d4 we have d5 the karokan is on the board of course knight to d2 we have uh, d takes e4 knight to e4 and now comes the so-called carpo variation with the move knight to d7 the idea is clear here because what black wants to do is to play uh, the move knight to f6 if that happens then of course if white takes the uh, knight on f6 here after knight to f6 then knight takes f6 then still black has always the opportunity to recapture with the knight we reload this knight uh, around the square f6 and still uh, black has a decent position with ideas of e6 then bishop to e7 or bishop to d6 casting and black is perfectly fine but okay how to beat the carpo variation of the karokan defense here uh, stockfish plays this move knight to g5 which is the so-called modern variation of the Karpov uh, system knight to g5 is actually a provocative move although it breaks a little bit the basic principle is chess which says that you should not uh, play it with the same piece twice in the opening but uh, still this knight to g5 i kind of like because it's provocative it's uh, forcing you basically to play the move h6 or f6 which is of course weakening the pawn structure in front of the king further so actually if you want to kick it away you can do it but of course you're uh, getting some weaknesses in front of your king so that's why after move knight to g5 we have now e6 attacking the knight we have here bishop to d3 and now uh, bishop to e7 now comes the move knight to f3 so you see still uh stockfish is staying with this knight on g uh, g5 you don't want to give up your of course your bishop here because the bishop will come or the knight will come into the game uh with this pawn structure like this with c6 e6 you have several dark square weaknesses so of course when you give up the dark square bishop you cannot protect anymore your dark squares in the continuation of the game so so no way uh, that black is going to give up the dusk or bishop here for a knight so that's why after move knight to, knight to f3 here comes this provocative move we have now h6 we have knight to e4 we have knight to f6 and now knight takes f6 finally uh black got what it wanted and of course white got also what it wanted because uh here at least the pawn structure is a little bit weakened uh in front of in front of black's king so after move knight to f6 we have knight to f6 we have now queen to e2 and now c5 because uh, c6 and c e6 is of course a firm setup in the karokan it's of course a good defensive setup but you cannot just play defensive setup you have to in one particular moment also open the position so that's why if you don't do that then this light square bishop is simply a bad piece through the whole game so that's why at least with c5 maybe b6 bishop to b7 this uh, bishop will breathe at least for in a couple of more moves so that's why you have to open the position although the kings are still in the center but it's not such a huge problem because actually white cannot open open the de file with some d5 moves still uh, black has a powerful control of the d file so that's why c5 is of course perfectly fine here so in the continuation of the game we have bishop to e3 what you don't want to do now from black's perspective is to take out the pawn because you're inviting basically your opponent's bishop into the game uh, bishop to d4 then this bishop is very very centralized in the continuation of the game we can even queen side castling or king side castling then we'll fix the bishop simply with c3 and look at this uh, setup i think the pieces of white are much much better you see both of these bishops very centralized the knight on a natural square controlling the e5 square now casting as i said queen side or king side the rooks will come on natural squares on d and e file so so far it's not good to take out the pawn on uh, d4 so that's why after move bishop to e3 queen to uh, c7 uh, played here by 
uh, Pedona. We have now Queenside Castling uh, by Stockfish because uh, what we can notice, I think also a little bit in this position, F remove C5, it's almost like Black is saying, I will not castle on the Queenside because I have weakened already there uh, too much the pawn structure with the move C5. So that's why uh, Stockfish sensed some blood immediately, castled now Queenside uh, because if Black castles now Kingside, I think that White is much, much faster with Rook to G1 and then G4 ideas in order to break the position immediately around the square g5 and actually you see this h6 move that you have already played it's not helping you out because uh if g5 happens then you have to react so this weakened pawn structure is actually a great strategical element that stockfish is using now in order to attack black's king when black is finally castling on the king side really really this is deep deep theory uh although of course black has also some counter-attack possibilities on the queen side but so far the king is already secured the pieces are very central so, so far a good defensive setup here also for white so casting uh here played by uh, pedona and now comes this idea immediately rook to g1 and when we uh, see who is faster on the attack in my opinion white is much much faster because of this opportunity to play finally the move g4 and then afterwards also the move g5 so here in the continuation b5 you see black is desperately trying now for attacking opportunity so that's why uh sometimes in this opposite side attack games like we have here so you see the king is uh, white king is on the queen side uh black king is on the king side of course uh it's also a great idea to sacrifice some pawns so if white now takes then of course rook to uh b8 will happen then of course uh black can continue the pressure also on the b file so it would be not such a bad idea if now white takes the pawn i think uh, black would love now a white to take out the pawn although you're losing a pawn but at least you're opening some files against white's king so as i said uh here it's a desperate try to somehow open the b file here in the continuation of the game stockfish simply takes d takes c5 we have now bishop to uh, b7 then now knight to d4 simply centralizing the knight and also attacking here the b5 pawn in the continuation we have now bishop to c5 nothing wrong with that uh, at least what stockfish got all of it is that the b file is still locked because the b5 basic uh, b5 pawn basically stands in the way uh, here and black cannot attack this very important file in the game so here g4 uh, played by stockfish uh, stockfish is trying here to finally crack the position around the square g5 you see now how annoying it can be when you have already there the h pawn. you have to then react the p pawn structure is already weakened so it's now a great risk uh, position here for for white so in the continuation knight to d5 and here um, it's a great a great um, uh, continuation for stockfish because stockfish doesn't even react here with the bishop stockfish is basically inviting pedona to take whatever you like if you want to take out this bishop if you want to even take out this bishop it's not a problem because i'm simply faster here when it comes to attacking your opponent's king so here f remove knight to d5 we have now g5 immediately here played by stock which we have knight to f4 queen to d2 and here okay pedona takes now this bishop it's again not a problem because here after queen to d3 still white is much much faster white is already there while of course black has not attacked uh white's king too much so it's now a completely completely better position here for stockfish uh here h5 was played by pedona if you play now the here um, h takes g5 it's not so good because you get rook to g5 and if you take now okay you can maybe trade off bishops trying to go maybe into opposite colored bishops we know of course when uh, opposite colored bishops are on the board then most of the times the games end in a draw but here it's actually not so good because what we can notice now after bishop to uh, d4 this is now the clear target you could maybe try this idea but again bishop to e3 you could even maybe try to trade off the bishop uh, queens then rook to g1 will happen so you see we don't have to even react and even if you take now still of course we're taking first uh here the spawn and then after king to h8 then it's time to play c takes d3 bishop to d4 still very very risky so uh again black is simply tactically lost so a uh, really really uh wild stuff so that's why you see also with the move h5 uh black is trying to close the position on the king side it's not allowing here white to create open files against the uh, black king so that's where after move h5 we have now knight to b5 now stock which finally takes the pawn but because here we are already fast as i said we have already attacked black king and meanwhile black has not uh, done so much 
much here on the queen test, so that's why uh, taking out the pawn is uh, a good idea here by Stockfish. We have bishop to e3, queen to e3, Pedone takes also uh, here the pawn on h2, but here comes a great move by Stockfish, a great tactical preparation, f4 is locking actually the queen, now the queen is very very in danger, the queen cannot escape here anymore, the queen is basically locked, a really really uh, beautiful beautiful positional game by Stockfish here, bishop to d5, we have knight to d6, very nice square for the knight, here uh, comes the problem you cannot take out this pawn you would love to do that because then of course the pawn structure is more and more weakened in front of white's king but actually this would be a suicide because after rook to h1 uh here you can play maybe a key, a queen to g2 but now we can take out this pawn and even if you get back with your bishop to d5 even if you centralize back your bishop on a very active square actually rook to h1 is a great great opportunity here with the direct checkmate threat on h8 so you would be forced to go into this line but now with g6 the pawn structure is getting uh, open here in front of the king even if you try uh, bishop to d5 then we're trying c4 we're kicking away the bishop or even if we take out this one we can play a check check and uh, now uh, queen to h3 is simply winning the game so uh, brilliant brilliant tactical preparation so as i said taking out the pawn on a2 is here not an option you lose the uh, you lose the game here immediately so after move knight to d6 here g6 play by um, pedone it is of course an idea to stop a uh, white progress here with the potential g6 move but now it weakens simply too much uh, here the dark squares in front of the king we have now rook to d2 kicking away the queen the queen has only one square look at this the queen is really really uh, bad here on this square h4 we have queen to e5 uh, now the main goal sort of would be to get the knight somehow here on f6 uh, it's not possible of course immediately because the bishop is covering that square but as a long-term plan to get the knight on f6 then the queen and the uh, knight are building a very very powerful attack especially uh, because black doesn't have any more the dark school bishop uh, there are really some dark school weaknesses in front of the king so here queen to h3 uh, pedone is desperately trying to get the queen into the game we have c4 again kicking away the bishop bishop to c6 and now b3 a5 finally but finally black got some kind of an attack but it's simply too late uh, you see uh, stockfish centralized the pieces stockfish improved the pieces this knight is very powerful on d6 so it's simply too late here in the continuation we have king to b2 we have queen to f3 here by pedone even if you try a4 it doesn't bring you so much we can play very good good move here uh, b4 uh, passing through again not allowing here pedone to open somehow uh, the b file now black could maybe try a3 but it's not uh, such a dangerous idea because in the continuation a white will simply proceed with b5 even c5 is an opportunity and still the queen and the rook are protecting the very important b2 square so the only attack that black can get is maybe to get somehow the queen on c3 and then deliver checkmate on b2 but uh, as we said so far these squares are perfectly protected by stockfish so after move um uh, king to b2 we have set queen to f3 we have now rook to d1 and now king to h7 we have now a3 again if you try uh, here this idea um uh, this idea a4 in order to open the position still you get rook to d3 okay you can play maybe one check we can play again rook to d2 then again you can play queen to h1 and again we're passing through with the move b4 and then afterwards with the move b5 so again uh, stockfish would manage to lock the position on the b file and on the c file so that's why this uh, this idea is again not working so in the continuation of the game we have king to g8 rook to d4 we have king to h7 you see pedone is just um, uh, repeating moves because actually pedone doesn't have even better moves uh, here in the continuation we have rook to d3 queen to g2 rook to d2 attacking the queen queen has to retreat again back to g4 so the queen has really troubles uh, to get back into the game the queen is basically trapped in the continuation now a brilliant move uh, here by stockfish f5 is brutalizing the game immediately whatever you do if you play e takes f5 or g takes f5 the same position will happen because you get first rook to g3 you have to get your queen to h4 and now comes the thunder knight to f5 is opening the position because even if you try uh, e takes f5 look at this you get simply this this idea first of all it comes of course with the direct threat uh here against the bishop but also rook to h6 is the threat black would be forced to play something like f6 in order to lock uh, here the activity but then you get a uh, queen to e7 it's simply too much to handle after king to g8 now rook to d3 this is a brilliant move first protecting the rook and now uh, of course opening the file if you play this one then you see uh, the queen is connected to the rook you're getting checkmated so whatever you do you can maybe try 
I don't know, rook to e8 in order to counterattack against the queen. But here it's simply a lost game. You get first um, g takes f6 with, with the check, and then you get checkmated on g8. So, really, really, really wild stuff here played by Stockfish. Even if you try, uh, as I said, f takes g5, you get simply rook to g5. So, uh, these are the tactical possibilities. Brilliant move uh, here by Stockfish f5. You see, this f5 square is protected by the queen, is protected by both of these pawns, but you can still play it. It's now opening position immediately here after rook to g8 we have now uh, f takes g6 here rook to g6 was played even if you try f takes g6 it's not even better because you get this one knight to e4 as i said uh, a couple more moves before knight we would love to play this move knight to e4 in order to play knight to f6 but now whatever you do even if you try queen to e4 you get this one you get deflected the bishop gets deflected from the queen but even if you take then rook to uh, d7 you in it's uh, it's of course checkmate you can only cover with the rook and then uh, queen to g7 it's game over so that's why after f takes g6 we have rook to g6 and now knight to f7 you see this pawn is unprotected finally um uh, fi finally it was a pure uh, demolition of the pawn structure in front of in front of black's king after move knight to f7 rook to f8 was played and now after rook to f2 queen to e4 again a desperate try by pedone to uh, trade off the pieces but now after queen to d6 in this position uh, uh pedone resigned so whatever you do if you to try rook to g5 we can take it the main goal is now to get the rook here on h3 or this rook on h2 in order to grab this pawn and it's simply game over so really really wild stuff we have to remove queen to d6 also we can notice that the rook is hanging on f8 so as i said in this position pedone resigned so brilliant brilliant game played by stockfish again especially with this move f5 uh breaking the position uh here in front of the king it was a, a bomb like uh, exploding here in the center of the board really really again great tactics out of this positional game but we have seen uh with the queen side casting idea stockfish found again opportunities to open the position with the move rook to g1 g4 g5 it was simply a uh, game over for black so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas in the karokan defense fans uh, if you want to see more brutal games like this check out my comment the chess games played by computer series with some more games uh, played by alpha zero lila zero stockfish 13 stockfish 14 and many many more and if you want to see uh, humans battling it out in their best chess games check out my comment the chess games the best chess games of all time series with some great games from the past and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course